Hello everyone, welcome back to Weekly Korean Life class. My name is Kejun. 안녕하세요, Kejun입니다. And 안녕하세요, Chunchu입니다. Hello, hello, welcome. I already see your comments and thank you so much for all your comments and participation. Today's topic is this. Daran, Korean vegetable vocabulary. Yes. <laughs> And we all love vegetables, right? If not, please try it. It's healthy. <laughs> By the way, before starting, do you know how to say vegetables in Korean? Vegetable, vegetable. It's an important word. So vegetable is 채소 or 야채 in Korean. 안녕하세요, 프라티시아, 니킬, 코아티, and 김... And Trevon, hello, hello, welcome, welcome, and thanks for all your comments. <laughs> so there are two different words, 채소 and 야채. Most Korean people use these two words interchangeably. Like you can use anything, anything you want. But theoretically, 채소, 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 the first one, 채소, 채소 means cultivated vegetables and yate means vegetables from the wild field or just wild vegetables but you know we don't eat mostly we don't eat the wild vegetables anymore right because we grow it intentionally so it's theoretically we are having cheso but again it's used interchangeably so either is okay and can you make the youtube comments a little bigger <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, 채소, 야채 means vegetables. It's exactly the same thing. Okay. Uh, Satya, please, please, please. <laughs> you, <laughs> you will know that at the end of this lesson, or other students will let you know. <laughs> okay, great. Yes, Chris, remember to hit the like button. If you like this, uh, this, this video, please like. <laughs> Lisa, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, Nikki, Chris, Yache, Yache, Pratisha, Yache, great. Hello, Chim Chim, Regiana. He's saying hello to you too. Okay, so before starting our lesson, Jajan advertisement. <laughs> so if you go to koreanclass101.com slash korean hyphen words, or if you click the link in the description, you can download this free. John Coolworth's ebook. Ooh, what is this? Basically, it's just a free PDF ebook. So if you want, you can print out just like me. Or if you want, you can keep it as PDF format. But this one, this PDF includes 2,000 Korean words, 2,000 important and useful Korean words with the example sentences. And I know many of you purchase a, a words book, right? word list word book and well this free book has all the words and examples for you so please check it out today's topic is vegetables and i chose some vegetable related words from this ebook this ebook plus i also got some example sentences from this free ebook so check it out Again, it's completely free for Korean Class 101 website users. So if you are not a member of Korean Class 101, sign up for free too. <laughs> okay, great. We are all ready. We can grow veggies on the balcony. Mm, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, Satya, actually, I'm so excited. Me too. <laughs> if you learn 20 vegetables, there is, oh, wow. That's true. If you learn 220 vegetable words, there is just 1980 words left. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but you know, this one is, I think, over to, uh, yeah, 2000. That's true. You're right. <laughs> okay, so let's start. Jajan, do you see this? Da -da. This is potato, right? Potato, potato. What is potato in Korean? Potato. Potato, 한국어로 뭐라고 말해요? 
한국어로 뭐예요? is 감자 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 Do you see this? It's 감자 감자 So it's 감자 포테이로 감자 포테이로 And here's an example sentence Example sentence Do but Let's fill out the blank first 짠 감자 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. Oh, Powell, you joined the Premium Plus membership. Please remember, if you are a Premium Plus member, you can always chat with your teacher using my teacher messenger. So have lots of chat with teacher, <laughs> your teacher. Okay, so 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. What is 감자 튀김? 감자 튀김. 짠. Yes, it's fried potato, fried potato or French fries. <laughs> so it's 감자 튀김. 감자 literally means potato. 튀김 means fry, fry, anything fry. So for example, um, 새우 튀김. I love 새우 튀김. 새우, 새우, 새우 is shrimp. So shrimp, fried shrimp, deep fried shrimp. 새우 튀김. Or 감자 튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. 몸 literally means body, but very often it can also mean health if it's used in this phrase. 몸에 좋다. Do you see this? 몸에 좋다 or 안 좋다. 몸에 좋다 means it's good for health. Good for your health. Good for one's sense. One's health. 몸에 안 좋다, it means not good. So 감자튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. 맞아요. That's true. 감자튀김 is not very healthy, but 맛있어요. <laughs> It's delicious. So we cannot give up. 안녕하세요, KD. And uh, 장기하, 장기라 앞. Is it correct? <laughs> okay, great. So 감자튀김은 몸에 안 좋아요. 짠! Do you know another way to say not good, which is bad, which, is, which means bad? Bad in Korean is 나쁘다. 나쁘다. So 나빠요 is okay. 몸에 나빠요. It means it's bad for your health. 몸에 나빠요. By the way, potato makes me think. Hmm. Do you remember how to say sweet potato? Sweet potato in Korean? Sweet potato. In English, you just put the sweet, the adjective, and potato. <laughs> But in Korean, it's not uh, 단 감자 like that. No, we don't say sweet potato. It has its own name, which is 고구마. 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 고구마 is sweet potato. And Korean people love sweet potatoes. And we eat this a lot, especially during the winter time. Mm. And we even have 고구마 Pizza. <laughs> Do you eat potato pizza often? It's very popular in Korea. And even koguma pizza is very popular. Sweet potato pizza. <laughs> ah, Kim um, Maoshi, why potatoes are not good for us? Potatoes are good, but what, I, what it says is fried potato. You know, French fries. French fries are not good for your health. Potatoes are good. If you steam it and if you eat it through uh, just simple way, that's okay. But fried version is not good. I heard that from doctor too. <laughs> On YouTube, the doctor said, mm, fried potatoes, the French, fri French fries are not good. <laughs> okay, Sana, 안녕하세요. I love kamja. Me too. <laughs> I often eat kamja for breakfast too. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So, John. 이거 뭐예요? 이거 이거 뭐예요? What is this? 이거 뭐예요? Carrot. Do you know how to say that in Korean? Carrot. 한국어로 뭐예요? Carrot. 한국어로 뭐예요? So what is carrot in Korean? 짜잔. Carrot is 짠. 당근. 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 <laughs> By the way, if you visit Korea and if you have some 
chance to drink with Korean people, Korean people might play some dang, dangun game. Dangun, 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 dangun. So anyway, it's a carrot game, but well, let's skip this one. But dangun is carrot. Dangun, dangun. And here's an example sentence. 우리 아이들은 carrot, remember? 당근. 우리 아이들은 당근을 싫어합니다. My kids hate carrots. Oh. <웃음> 우리 아이들은 당근을 싫어합니다. Let's break down the sentence together. So, 우리 아이들, 우리, 무슨 뜻이에요? 우리, what does that mean? 우리. It literally means our. And 아이 means kid or child. And 들, 들. It's kind of like plural word. So, 아이들 means children. 아이 means child. 아이들 means children. So, 들 makes the noun plural. As in 아이들. So, 우리 아이들, 우리 아이들. It literally means our children. Our children. But it doesn't mean our children. But it's more like my, my. So, my children, my kids. In Korea, we use 우리 a lot, 우리 a lot, to mean my. In all the cases? Nope, only specific cases. For example, when you refer to your family members, like my mom, in Korean, we don't say my mom, we say our mom, even though it's my mom. <laughs> it's not our mom, because my mom didn't give you birth to you, right? So it's not our mom, but in Korean, in Korean language, we say our mom, 우리 엄마, 우리 엄마. Or family members, or uh, the organization that you are belong to. For example, is school, school, my school, right? You are not going to the same school with me, right? But still, I say 우리 학교, 우리 학교 means our school, but in natural English, it's more like my school or my company, my company. I work here, and you are not working here, right? But still, I say 우리 회사, 우리 회사. 우리, 회, 우리 회사, so it means my company. So we often use 우리 to mean my, especially when we refer to our family members or the organization that we are belong to. Okay, so 우리 아이들은 당근을 싫어합니다. 싫어하다 means hate. Ooh, it's healthy, please eat. <laughs> and here's an important thing, which is 을, 을, the object marking particle. 을 싫어하다, 을 싫어하다. You know, 싫어하다 to hate. 싫어하다 needs the particle 을, 을, 을. So, as in, 을, 을, or 를 싫어하다. We need the object marking particle. But there is a word similar to 싫어하다, which is 싫어요. 싫어하다. Let me... I did like 싫어하다. Something 을 싫어하다 means I I hate something. There's similar words which is 싫다. 싫다. As in 싫어요. 싫어요. In this case, we need to use the particle 이가. So now I'm using 싫어하다. So I'm using 을을 as a particle. So 당근을 싫어해요. It means I don't like carrots. I hate carrots. 당근을 싫어해요. But another way to say I hate, I hate carrot is 당근이 싫어요. 당근이 싫어요. <laughs> ah, <laughs> my sweater is dark, dark green. <laughs> so yeah, not the carrot color, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you. <laughs> the, ah, true. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, there are two ways to say I hate or someone hate, which is 이가 싫다 or 이가 싫어하다, as in 당근이 싫어요, 당근이 싫어요, 당근을 싫어해요. So please don't confuse with these particles because many people make mistake here with these words and particles. 이가 싫다, 을을 싫어하다. Okay, Kate, exactly. You used the sentence pattern that we just learned. 당근은 
눈에 좋아요. 당근은 눈에 좋아요. So carrots are good for eyes. Yes. <웃음> 아, quite exactly. Another way to say hate or don't like is 안 좋아해요. 당근을 안 좋아해요. I should, I should stop saying this sentence because I like carrots. <웃음> this is not fact. Not true. Not correct. <웃음> okay, so let's move on. The next word we have is onion. Onion, 한국어로 뭐예요? 한국어로 뭐예요? So what is onion in Korean? <웃음> Sorry everyone, I put the text here. So. <웃음> so do you know how to say onion in Korean? Is 양파 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 is onion is onion and here's a quick tip there are many words oops I'm here <laughs> I'm here there are many words many words using oops using 양 at the beginning 양 at the beginning of the word not all the time but in many cases we put 양 because this vegetable didn't exist in Korea long time ago and it was I don't I don't remember where <laughs> I don't know actually where the uh, onions are from but but these are from the foreign countries so we put yang 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 so it means like western or something from foreign country it's like foreign yes it has the meaning of like foreign because yang itself means ocean ocean so for example if you want to say pacific ocean is 태평 yang yang it has the word yang means ocean and here it also has the words uh, yang yang ocean because it's from another country overseas yes they crossed the ocean and came so we put yang so we you will see lots of yang today so please remember that then what is pa by the way if yang means western or uh, the foreign what is pa pa means do you know let me draw it for you can i draw it well green onion <laughs> is it acceptable green green onion is my drawing okay <laughs> yes it's green onion and that's pa pa or de pa de pa de means big it's long so de pa or just in general is pa pa so it's so onion from foreign countries so it's yang pa this is yang pa and this is pa so by looking at this word this word just one word you now know two different vegetables which is green onion green onion and onion okay yang pa so here's an example sentence please put in the onion and stir fry it is 양파 양파를 넣고 볶으세요 양파를 넣고 볶으세요 so 양파를 넣 is from 넣다 넣다 means put in add include so 양파를 넣다 and 고 what is this 고? 고 this is such a useful conjugation you use stem verb, verb stem or adjective stem plus 고 as in 넣고 so 고 means and so 넣고 means put in and in English, you, you just use and separately. But in Korean, when you want to use and, we need to conjugate it with the verb or adjective, as in put in and. <laughs> Korean grammar. So, 넣고, 양파를 넣고, 볶으세요. 볶다 means stir fry. Stir fry. <laughs> Cooking. <laughs> and 으세요 means very polite way to say, please do. So, please stir fry. So maybe this is a cooking school or you're watching the cooking channel and they're saying, hmm, to cook this food, please put in the onion first and stir fry it. 양파를 넣고 볶으세요. 볶으세요. <laughs> okay, great. 
양파 is K-pop. Ah, <laughs> that's true. Yangpa is a, a K-pop singer, right? Very old K-pop singer, as I remember. But wow, how can you know? <laughs> Great. Okay, the next word that we have is how can you say lettuce in Korean? What is, what is lettuce in Korean? Lettuce, 한국어로 뭐예요? 한국어로 뭐예요? It's 상추. 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 And you can also put 양상추, but they are different. They are different. 상추 is a Korean one. So it's more like just leaf, really thin leaf. And yangsangchu, yangsangchu is often used for salad. So this is a lettuce that you often use it for salad. But sangchu is too thin. It's a Korean lettuce. It's very thin. So if you use it for salad, it's, it doesn't have the good texture, like shak shak shak. You don't have that kind of texture. So how do we use this sangchu? We use it when we eat barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> so here's an example. 삼겹살을 먹을 때는 상추가 있어야 돼요. What is 삼겹살? 삼겹살. 삼겹살. It's, it literally means three layered meat. <laughs> but it's a pork belly. Pork belly barbecue is 삼겹살. 삼겹살. 삼겹살을 먹을 때 it means when you eat 삼겹살 or when you eat when you eat so it's a good grammar to know 을때 so verb stem plus 을때 을때 means when when so for example 음, 먹다 먹다 is a stem to eat 먹다. The, the, the stem is 먹다 is a verb, and the stem is 먹 먹 because we only need a stem. So 먹을 때 means when I eat, when you eat, when she, he, we, they eat. 먹을 때. Or do you know this word? 가다, meaning to go. So when you go, when you go, I need to use the stem. Stem is 가. So now ka ends with vowel. So I need to use dir only, not ul, but dir only. Kalte means when you go. But there are some verb that ends with dir. The stem ends with dir, such as hmm, salda. Do you know this word salda? Salda means to live. You know, uh, when I live in Korea, when I live in the States, uh, I was very busy, but nowadays I'm not so busy like when I leave, when I leave, when you leave, when the person leave. 살, 살. If the stem ends with dir, then you don't have to put anything. You don't have to put dir, or you don't have to put 을. Nope, just put te only. So 살 때, when I leave. So this is very important grammar when you want to say when. When. <laughs> then it's 먹을 때, 갈 때, 살 때. Okay. Uh, offense, 안녕하세요. <laughs> and let's move on. So, 삼겹살을 먹을 때는 it means when you eat 삼겹살. 상추, 상추 means lettuce. 가 있다. 가 있다 means to have. This means to have. And 어야 돼요. Do you know what is 어야 돼요? It means uh, have to. Or must, or should. So we need, we need, or we have to have sangchu. <laughs> we need to have sangchu. We need to have sangchu. So 삼겹살을 먹을 때는 상추가 있어야 돼요. 상추가 있어야 돼요. So now we learned just two words from this image, right? One is 양상추 that you often use to make salad, and 상추 is a thin lettuce that you often eat when you eat the Korean barbecue. Okay, I'm so small now. <laughs> oh, what if I put, 
we put my here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the director is amazing, right? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm here now. So do you know how to say cucumber in Korean? Cucumber is very simple. It's ooi, ooi, ooi. It's easy to pronounce it, right? Ooi. <laughs> ah, satyam, I wanted this tasty greeny vegetable. Me too. I want vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> and mustard cat. Oh, and what do you usually eat when you visit your girlfriend's parents? <laughs> And Quatish exactly. Patisha 잘했어요. Cutie pie, right? Okay, so oi, oi. So the example sentence is oiga 싱싱해요. Oiga 싱싱해요. 싱싱해요 means fresh. Another way to say fresh is 신선해요. 신선해요. So both of them means fresh, but 싱싱해요 is Sounds more like the vegetables is more like lively, good color, and like kind of like energetic, like xing xing, xing xing. And xin sonata means like it's new, so it's fresh, it's new, fresh. And xing xing means like <gasps> they are more like <laughs> lively, they are like. <laughs> but well, both of them means fresh, to be fresh. Cucumbers are fresh. We got 싱싱해요. 오이가 싱싱해요. And do you like this vegetable? <laughs> broccoli, broccoli. We didn't have broccoli in Korean in Korea traditionally, so we don't have name for broccoli in Korean. So we use the English word directly as in 브로 콜리 Broccoli. <laughs> Broccoli. So we use the English word directly. So it's easy for you to remember, right? Just pronounce it in Korean way. Broccoli. Broccoli. So let's put this word to the example sentence as in Broccoli는 Broccoli는 암을 예방해 준다고 해요. Broccoli는 암을 예방해 준다고 해요. This sentence seems long and complicated, right? But actually it's not. So let's break down the sentence together. So broccoli는, let's put broccoli. 암, 암 means cancer. 을 예방하다. 을 예방하다 means to prevent. To prevent. And 준다, 준다. 예방해 주다. Basically means prevent cancer. But they, they were the author, someone put 주다 because it's a positive effect. So we often put 주다 when the effect is positive. So 예방해 주다, 예방해 주다, prevent cancer for me, prevent cancer for us. So 암을 예방해 준다 and 구해요, 구해요 means it's said to, it's said to. So it's the indirect speech, and we already did 구, 구하다, 구해요. We already learned that before. So if you want to learn more about this grammar, check out my previous, previous lesson. But yeah, it just means it is said, it is said. When you deliver what someone said to another person, we use this grammar, 구하다. 브로콜리는 암을 예방해 준다고 해요. Broccoli is said to prevent cancer. Am, cancer. Will 예방해, prevent, 준다, for us. 고해요, it is said. Good? <laughs> oh, Koati, your favorite vegetable is broccoli. Actually, I like broccoli too. <laughs> so when someone doesn't like broccoli, I'm, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I can have yours. <laughs> okay. So next vegetable, which is controversial because some people say this is fruit. <laughs> but as far as I know, this is vegetable. So tomato, tomato. Do you know how to say that in Korean? It's very simple because it's also not a traditional vegetable. So we don't have the Korean word for it. 
Instead, we use the English word directly in the Korean pronunciation, as in tomato. Tomato. Tomato is tomato. 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 Okay, very good, Yasai and Adria and Katie. 잘했어요. 잘했어요. 아, 다고 해요. 아, that's a good question. 브로콜리는 암을 예방해 준대요. It's okay. 준대요. If you change, 어, 다고 해요. To, 어, 대요. That's okay. It's shortened form. It sounds like you are, it's spoken form. But 준다고 해요 sounds like more like formal. Okay, let's talk about tomato again. Tomato, tomato. Here's an example sentence. Tomato, 주스 한잔 주세요. Ooh, you know these two words already. Tomato, tomato, 주스, 주스, juice. Tomato juice is tomato juice. Tomato juice. What is 한 잔? 한 잔. 한잔 is simple. 한, first, you see this 한? It's from 하나, 하나, one, one. And what is 잔? 잔. 잔 means glass, so 한잔 means a glass. So tomato juice 한잔 is a glass of tomato juice. A glass of tomato juice. Tomato juice 한잔. And we use this 잔 as a counter, counter, counter words. So when you count uh, some drinks, we use 잔. For example, 물한 잔, 물, water, 한 잔, a glass, a glass of water, or you can also say a cup of coffee, right? A cup of coffee is 커피 한 잔. 잔. 잔 also means glass or a cup, anything, anything that you put it in the container and drink. So we use this one when, uh, when you count a drink. And 주세요 means please give me, please give me. So please give me a glass of tomato juice in Korean. Is tomato juice 한잔 주세요. Tomato juice 한잔 주세요. Okay, now what is this? 이거 뭐예요? 이거 뭐예요? What is this? This is 옥수수. 옥수수, 옥수수 means corn, corns. 옥수수. Ah, quite. That's a very good one. If you want to say two tomatoes, two tomatoes, then is 토마토 두 개. 토마토 두 개 means two tomatoes. In English, you just say something like tomato or corn. And if you want to say two, you just put the number here, like two, three, and put S, toma tomatoes, corns, <laughs> oh, tomatoes, <laughs> tomatoes, <laughs> two tomatoes. So, ah, two years of corns, I see, yes, but yeah, two, okay. So, 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 so. Bye bye corn, but tomato, two tomato. <laughs> but in Korean, when you count something, we put the noun, noun like tomato or a coffee or anything, a book, and say the number here and put counter. As in tomato, the the thing that you want to count, tomato or 학생 means students. You can also count students like. Two students, so 학생, or anything you want to count, like coffee, tea, a car, bus, <laughs> anything is okay. Just put the noun and put the number here, like one, two, three, four, as in 한, 두, 셋, 세, 네, 다섯, 여섯, just the native Korean number and put the counter, as in 개, 개, you use this counter when you count some items. You use, remember, 잔, when you count uh, drinks. Or 대, 대, when you count some big, um, uh, big electronic stuff like car, <laughs> car. Or fridge, we use 대 when you count that. Or when you count house or building, we use 채, 
or when you count people, myeong, etc., etc., etc. So this is a rule. So please remember the way we count things is slightly different from English. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> corn is 옥수수, 옥수수. So here is an example sentence. 저는 찐 옥수수를 좋아해요. 저는 찐 옥수수를 좋아해요. 저는 as for me and 찐 옥수수. 찐 옥수수 means steamed corn. Steamed corn. So 찐 is steamed. Steam. 를 좋아해요. Mm, remember? 싫다 and 싫어하다. You have to be very careful with the particle. Right. It's exactly the same thing. When you use the word 좋아하다, please use the particle 을 or 를. I'm writing too fast. <laughs> so my handwriting is 좋아하다. 좋아하다 is the dictionary form. And 좋아. <laughs> I'm moving. 좋아, 좋아. 해요 is the spoken form. So, 좋아하다 and 좋아해요. Wait, here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 을을 좋아하다. But if you use a part, uh, the another word which is 좋다, as in 옥수수가 좋아요, then you need to use a particle 이행가. 이행가. 을을 좋아하다 and 이가 좋다. So, I like steamed corn is 저는 찐 옥수수를 좋아해요. Or 저는 찐 옥수수가 좋아요. So very, be, very, very be careful. <웃음> okay. Awesome. Oh, awesome. <웃음> okay. So, John, do you know what it is? This one is cabbage, right? What is cabbage in Korean? Oops. Cabbage is 양, 배, 추, 양배추, 양배추. Yes, it means cabbage. And you see 양 here, right? 양, again, because we didn't have cabbage before long time ago. So it's from the foreign country. So we put 양. Foreign, 배추, 배추, 배추. So, do you know this word, 배추? 배추, 배추 means napa cabbage. And it's actually more common than this kind of cabbage. So, 배추, 배추 is super common in Korea because very often we make kimchi, kimchi. <laughs> we make kimchi with 배추, 배추. By the way, kimchi has thousands of, not thousands, maybe hundreds, <laughs> hundreds of kinds. A lot of people think, hmm, in Korea, there's just one kind of kimchi, which is red and spicy, uh, napa cabbage kimchi, but that's not true. We have lots of kinds of kimchi, like green onion kimchi, um, like radish kimchi, or etc., etc. There are many, many kinds, and some kind of kimchi are not spicy, too. Okay, <laughs> so 배추, 배추 is so important word in Korea. So 양배추 is this, and 배추, 배추 itself is a napa, it's Chinese cabbage. So 어젯밤에 저는 양배추를 먹었습니다. 어젯밤에 저는 양배추를 먹었습니다. 어젯밤, last night. E is a time marking particle. So, 어젯밤에, it literally means like on the last night. I know in English you don't put on as a particle, but this is how we say in Korea. We need a particle. Of course, if you want, you can omit this, but 어젯밤에 or 어젯밤. Okay. 저는, as for me, 양배추, cabbage, 를, 업적 marking particle, 먹었습니다. I ate. I ate cabbage last night. 어젯밤에. 저는 양배추를 먹었습니다. Sound very healthy. Maybe this person is on a diet or this person has weak stomach. I think cabbage is good for stomach. 
<laughs> I'm sorry if this is wrong, but <laughs> anyway, I know this is very healthy <laughs> and I eat a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, ah, ocean rice, perilla leaf kimchi. I love it so much. I love, I love it. And my classmate won the kimchi contest last week. <gasps> Congratulations. Wow, pork, kimchi with pork meat. That ooh, sounds good, isn't it? Like bosam, the pork meat bosam. We often eat uh, the fresh kimchi with bosam, bosam. By the way, we just talk about perilla leaf, right? Perilla leaf. What is perilla leaf in Korean? Is Kennip, kennip, Be careful with the pronunciation. It's not get it, get it. It's kennip, kennip, kennip. We love it so much, and we use, we eat this kennip when we eat samgyeopsal or Korean barbecue. Kennip. <laughs> okay, great. And here's an next next example. John, do you know how to say eggplant in Korean? It's simple. Let me write it B. Ka. Ji. Ka ji. Ka ji. Yes. Ka ji means eggplant. Ka ji. So, here's an example sentence. Ka ji ro daeangan yori ril hal su. 있습니다. 가지로 다양한 요리를 할수 있습니다. 가지, eggplant, 가지. With, with, or using in Korean is 로, 로. So 가지로 means using eggplant or with eggplant. 다양한 요리, 다양한 요리. 다양한 means var various or a variety of. 다양한, various. And yuri means dish or plate. You cook your dish. Tayangan yuri, various dish. Object marking particle. Hal su isimida. Hal is from hada, do. Su isimida means can, do. <laughs> so, kajiro, tayangan yuri, hal su isimida. It literally means with eggplant. You can do various, a variety of dishes. Or in English, you can cook ver various dishes with eggplant. 가지로 다양한 요리를 할수 있습니다. Yes. 가지. So, yeah, the common dishes are 가지 무침. So you sauce the 가지, you cook the, you boil the eggplant and use some sauce. 가지 무침. <laughs> Ah, Katie, so there is no kennip in Bahrain. Right, actually, I don't find kennip, kennip in other countries. Is there any other countries that did kennip? Yeah, I don't think. In Japan, there's a similar thing, but it's not perilla leaf. They look very similar, so I don't think I've seen any like perilla leaves in other countries. Jajan. So yeah, these are all the words that I uh, picked from this core words, core words uh, ebook, core words ebook like this, <laughs> like this. So as you saw, this book is so useful because we teach you the word plus there are some example sentences. So there are two thousand words like this. So check it out. Because if you know 2,000 words, you will have uh, at least like conversation, you will reach conversational fluency. <laughs> this is the link and not, oh nice, not 100, not 200, not 198, <laughs> but it's 2,000 Korean words. So pl please check it out. If you want, you can print it as like, like this, like me. Ooh, wow, I'm big. <laughs> So you can you can print it like this and write on your note if you want or if you want you can just keep it as PDF and use it with your I don't know tablet or something. It's all up to you. Okay. 
Ah, Kwati, how about beetroot? Beetroots are not really like common in Korea. So in, if so, we usually use English word. Yes. Actually, that's a good question because this is a Q&A time. <laughs> <laughs> Q&A time. So maybe I can add some more vegetables which are very common in Korea, which is daran, gochu, chili pepper. Chili pepper is so useful because we use gochu a lot when we cook or when we make kimchi. Chili pepper is so important in Korea. Another thing is radish which is bu. As I mentioned, we even have the radish kimchi, which is amazing. I love it. It's bu, bu, bu. And how about bell pepper? Bell pepper. Bell pepper in Korean is pimang. Pimang. And how about spinach? Yes, yeah, spinach is another common uh, vegetable in Korea. And it's shigumchi. Shigumchi. And other common ones are like bean sprout, kongnamul. We make soup with bean sprout. Kong, kong means bean, namul, namul. Namul means sprout or herbs. Kongnamul, uh, kongnamul. Pumpkin is hobak, hobak. Zucchini, zucchini is e hobak. So there are s many, many words, many, many words, <laughs> many words, uh, like garlic is manul, garlic is manul, ginger is sengang, what else? Ah, we also eat lotus root, which is yongun, etc, 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 etc. So yeah, I just picked several words but please find more words in this ebook so okay so yeah uh satyam keep asking me the instagram id Jan, then are you going to do this homework <laughs> so this is my instagram super underbar kajin so if you want please choose one your favorite words, or if you want, you can choose some more and make a sentence to practice the Korean words. And if you uh, tag me on Instagram, then I will correct your words or phrases or sentences. So choose your favorite words and make a sentence. 좋아하는 단어를 골라 문장을 만들어 보세요. 좋아하는 favorite 단어 word를 골라 choose. 문장, 문장, sentence, 만들어 보세요 means please make, please make, so 좋아하는 단어를 골라 문장을 만들어 보세요. <laughs> 사태 which vegetables is good for our health? I think the old vegetables that I mentioned today is very good for your health. So try to take many vegetables as you can. <laughs> Ah, mustard can exactly 고추장. So with the chili pepper, we use 고추장. It's like chili pepper paste, and we use it for many different Korean dishes. Okay. Ah, Regina, yay! You downloaded. Awesome. Thanks. Please enjoy it. <laughs> okay. So yes, this is what Regina Regina just downloaded, and if you want, please check it out. This is free. And Kwati, 선생님, 저는 진짜 배고. 저도요. 저도 진짜 배고파요. <laughs> so, okay, so since we are all hungry, <laughs> this is the end of the lesson. And next week, I'll be back with a new topic, which is 짜잔! Shopping mall talk in Korean. So, yes, you will need some phrases to talk in Korean shopping mall. And I'm going to talk about that da -da 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 -da. next week. It's December 7th. 2023. So Chim Chim and I will be waiting for you. So please, please join again. So 감사합니다. Thanks everyone and see you next time. Bye bye. Musket and Emily, Satyam, Kwati, Nikhil, Katie, uh, Offense, uh, Sana. Bye bye.